Hi guys, welcome to IIT Starters. In this tutorial, we'll learn to interface LCD display uh, with a Raspberry Pi Pico W along with DHT11 sensor module. This is a temperature and humidity sensor and this sensor is very easily available. So we are going to interface DHT11 sensor along with Raspberry Pi Pico W and uh, the data will be displayed here in this LCD along with this LCD it will be also displayed as a web server on your computer or mobile screen when you are connected within the same network so let's see how it is built and how we display this data now to build this project you need a DHT11 sensor module a Raspberry Pi Pico W, a 16 into 2 LCD display, an I2C converter for LCD display. If you already have an I2C LCD display, then you can use that directly. Since I don't have, so I'm using this I2C converter. Then a data cable for connecting this Raspberry Pi Pico W with the computer to upload the code a breadboard and some jumper cables now let's see how we connect and how this works now let's quickly look at the working of this particular tutorial let's quickly see how this project works this DHT11 sensor module collects the temperature and humidity data which is further sent to this Raspberry Pi Pico W this Raspberry Pi Pico W is connected to the local network and provides an IP it shows the IP over console when it is programmed and the program is executed and here we are using a LCD display um, along with an I2C module. It helps us to limit the pins and not to use all the pins of any particular development board. So this is very easy to connect and we are using an I2C display. So this is a 16 into 2 LCD display which we are using here and along with that it will be displaying the data in this LCD display and the data will be also displayed as I said in the web server that we have created so when you hit the IP address which is uh, allocated to the, this Raspberry Pi Pico W it will show you the web server dashboard which will contain the temperature and the humidity over there So in this uh, particular code, uh, you can see that first we are importing all the libraries, necessary libraries like um, I2C for LCD and LCD API as well um, uh, so that it can interconnect and we are declaring the I2C connections over here and the LCD, uh, the type of LCD and the I2C address over here. Once the Pico is powered on, we can see this uh, DHT11 sensor with Pi Pico W will be displayed in the LCD screen and then the defining the pH, uh, DHT11 sensor uh, over here under the variable DHT underscore sensor and this is the part where you need to put your uh, Wi-Fi network ID and password and then the onboard LED and the uh, Wi-Fi connection. The LED will be on till the time uh, it is trying to connect with the local Wi-Fi and once it connects the LED will be powered off over here and here it will also show you connected on the particular IP which is given to this Raspberry Pi Pico W and below that uh, we have the web page this is the HTML code where it is capturing the temperature and humidity data over here and it is before that it is clearing the lcd as well cleaning it up and then it will be displaying the actual temperature and humidity data over here then we have the socket binding over here with the port number 80 and then the actual loop infinite loop it will try with all these conditions 
and here if you see that the DHT sensor dot measure it is going to measure and keep this value under temperature for DHT underscore sensor dot temperature and humidity value and this will just print you in this particular shell screen over here in the console and the remaining data will be displayed in the LCD over here and then the response comes as in web page so whatever we have in this HTML code it will be now displayed under this web page which is called here if you can see and then it will send HTTP 200 ok if it is ok then the content type and the connection will be closed along with the response that is being given and then the connection will be closed below if there is any exception with the connection closed and uh, then it will display if there is any issue we can uh, un uh, we can uncomment this particular thing if there is any issue with the dht 11 sensor data then it will be showing that what kind of uh, error it has got as in e variable it will be capturing that particular error so this is all about the code that we have got along with this code we have two supporting files for one for the lcd underscore api dot py python file the other one is pico underscore i2c underscore lcd python file so these two are supporting files which is necessary to be uploaded in raspberry pi pico w along with this main file so now we'll be running this particular file by clicking on it and once we click on run it will be starting and it shows that connection is successful with this is the ip and we hit once we hit this particular ip in our browser we get this page open we get the web page open here which will contain all the data the temperature data in degree centigrade and the humidity in terms of percentage so we'll be getting this data uh, and this is the heading for this web server it will keep on refreshing in every uh, 10 seconds or so so that it can fetch the new data and display in this along with that you will be also getting this data temperature and humidity data in the lcd screen as well